Good evening. Tonight's daily devotional will come from Revelation 17, verse 14, Proverbs 19, verse 21, Luke 1, verse 79. I am your Lord. Seek me as a friend and a lover of your soul. But remember that I am also King of kings, sovereign over all. You can make some plans as you gaze into the day that stretches out before you, but you need to hold those plans tentatively, anticipating that I may have other ideas. The most important thing to determine is what to do right now. Instead of scanning the horizon of your life, looking for things that need to be done, concentrate on the task before you and the one who never leaves your side. Let everything else fade into the background. This will unclutter your mind, allowing me to occupy more and more of your consciousness. Trust me to show you what to do when you have finished what you are doing now. I will guide you step by step as you bend your will to mine. Thus, you stay close to me and on the path of peace. Now, I'm also going to read from <coughs> excuse me, Ephesians 4 verse 24. And that ye put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. When you become saved, you adopt Christ's righteousness and holy nature as you focus on your relationship with God through communicating with him and surrendering to his guidance. More and more of that godly nature will be lived through you. When you receive Christ, you are no longer seen as a sinner because you have put on a new man. God now sees you as righteous. He sees you as his own. Dear God, I desire to live your way of living and not my own selfish ways. As I have received Christ in my life, I put on the new man and avail myself to your ways. I choose to live your higher and holier way of life. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. The closer we get to God, and as we focus on our relationship with God, as this says, through communicating with Him and surrendering to His guidance, more and more of that godly nature will be lived through you. We are no longer seen as sinners. Now we're born into sin, we sin every day. But when you accept Yeshua, when you accept our Savior, Jesus, as Lord and Savior, your sins are washed clean. Your sins are washed clean. Do you know the reason why we are not appointed to go in through the tribulation? Because right here, when you received Christ, when you receive Christ, you are no longer seen as a sinner. So why would God put us through wrath? Because you have put on a new man, God now sees you as righteous. He sees you as his own. I hope you have a wonderful evening. God bless you. Thank you for all your prayers. Thank you for all your love. Thank you for all your help from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Hope you have a wonderful evening. And if there's any breaking news, I will be back on tomorrow. If not, um, I will be on um, later tomorrow afternoon, um, towards probably towards the early evening hours with tomorrow's daily devotional. God bless you. Good night.